Hi, this is a quick lesson on um, soloing and um, I guess things that helped me out a lot. Uh, for me, soloing always started with chords. When I learned a lot of chord melody solos, um, that's when I really learned the neck inside and out. And really, um, a couple of things always confused me. So the first thing that I learned and worked on was actually spelling out chords. So for example, let's take a C major 7. So, the classic way of playing it is this. Learning the notes and how they correspond to the numbering system um, really helped me out. So in the case of a major seven, you have a one, a three, a five, and a seven, okay? And so, once I learned to spell that out, so in the case of C major seven, the one is the C, the third is the E, the fifth is the G, and then the seventh is the B. That helped me out a lot, okay? And then I just learned it up and across the board for... So you just get that sound in your ears, that one, three, five, seven, one, three, five, seven. And the other thing, um, music or musicians tend to complicate things. Some things are confusing, okay? So for example, when you learn to read music and you look at the staff and they refer to the note the 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 notes on the top the top notes. So in the case of this case like that, the top note that they're referring to is actually the opposite of it the way it lies in the guitar. So for example, to me, before I learned to read music, I always thought this was the top, right? So this is a low E. Well, no, a low E is actually the bottom. But to me it's the top because it's closer to me. What would be the top note is the high E. So things like that, when people were talking and really educated conservatory musicians were talking, used to confuse the hell out of me. So I tried to simplify that. And so that was a little bit counterintuitive, although for some people it might have been very, very simple and straightforward. So, all right. So first rule of thumb is to learn to spell out the chords. It really will help. Get a basic theory book. There's a lot of them out there. Um, you don't have to be the greatest sight reader, but once you get a good foundation on how to spell out chords, then it'll start making sense on when people say major seven, one, three, five, seven, you know, minor seven, then, you know, you flat the third, you know, flat the seven, things like that. That, that way you start getting the vocabulary. When you're playing, you're not thinking about that. You're just really thinking about, um, you know, where your fingers should go, at least initially. The other thing that I found really, really helpful is actually to listen. I'm a big proponent that I don't care who you are, um, you know, you could be a th theoretician and really get theory, but if your ears suck, your music is going to suck. You really, really, really have to listen to yourself um, and be cognizant of that. So soloing for me always started with chords. Um, I'll give you an example of the major seventh. So we're going to take two chords in this form. <laughs> beautiful chord, C major 7, and then D major 7. Okay. So we start off with the C major 7. So I learned this form, and then what I started doing was like learning um, inversions. And that also confused me, because to me, inversions never really sounded like the actual chord, because my ears were so attuned to the way this is supposed to sound. And then I would see a jazz guitar or somebody play something. I was like, wow, that's a C major 7 that you're playing? It doesn't sound like it. Um, and then gradually my ears got accustomed to that. And then my basic definition of an inversion is that it's basically the exact same notes within the chords, except it's played differently than whatever you learned it at, whatever that makes sense. So in the case of, of this thing, C major 7, you have the C, E, G, okay? This is an inversion of C major 7. I love this. So technically, it's the same chord as this. Okay, let's find the notes that are common. So right here is the G. If you recall, the G was the, the 1, 3, 5, was the 5th. So instead of it falling here, it falls there. This is the E. The E was the third. And it's still the third in here. It stays in the same position. And this is the B. The B was the one, 
three, five, seven. What's the seven? So. And the one is here, which is the C. So this is a C major seven. So once I learned that, I, I like that. Another major seven form that people play, I play this a lot, like this. This is a C major seven. Oh, that's not a C major seven. This would be a, this would be a F major seven. But the C form would be. And it's the exact same note. You have the one, C, E, G, B, E again if you want to play it. So. so right there within these, like pretty much the first position until the fifth fret, a little bit bordering on the second position, you have three C major seven chords. So you got this nice sounding inversion. So notice what I'm doing though. All right. I learned through chord books. And sometimes I find that chord books actually hold you back a little bit because what happens is that you just learn the shape of it. You don't really know where the notes are, even if it's written in the book. So what I force myself to do consciously is be aware of where the notes really are. So I know this is a C major seven if I grip this, but I used to know it just based upon this was a form that I saw in a book. The same thing with this C major seven. And this one, I never learned it from a book until later on, but I used to play it like that. So I just spot it, and I don't even think about it in relation to, okay, I'm on the, the G. So the G is the fifth of the, the, the C scale, so it's the fifth. I'm, my mind is not processing that. So, But that's the first thing to, to learn is learn the chords. Learn the chords, and you'll be able to learn how to solo. So that's the first lesson in soloing and playing single lines is to actually learn it and build up some level of chord vocabulary. Um, you know, and so... That was the best thing that helped me out the most in terms of um, improving my um, solo playing. So hope this helps. Bye now.